Hi everyone, I think I've talked about this topic on my channel before, but at least to my remembrance, which may not be as best as, as good as it should be, I don't think I've ever made a full video about it, and that's about subscription boxes. So I've done a video, what, it was probably in like 2015, um, about the best and worst subscription boxes in my opinion. And I can update that if you want, because I've had most of them. And I really enjoyed them while I had them. However, I don't feel like subscription boxes are for me anymore. I think subscription boxes are great when you're first starting makeup. However, you will accumulate quite a bit. Um, I know I've done a video all about makeup I've gotten from subscription boxes. And some of it's really great and some of it's really not. And you just never know. Um, you know, you just really don't. And I started having a subscription box. I had them for years. And I, it, you know, it's a great way if you really just want to try new things and accumulate makeup, but you will accumulate makeup. There's no way you can have a subscription box and not have a lot. I got so many like black eyeliners that I still own and they're just sitting there and I mean, you know, I'm going to use them eventually, obviously, but when you get a black eyeliner like every two months, I don't know, personally, I can't use one up that fast. So you will accumulate a lot of makeup and I'm just not trying to do that anymore, you know? I like having makeup. I like having a lot of options. I'm never going to have like, well, maybe not never. I don't foresee a time when I'm going to be like, I have one blush and one highlighter and two eyeshadow palettes. I just don't see that in my future. Um, it could happen. I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with that. I just don't feel like it's what's going to happen for me. But I will say that I don't feel like subscription boxes are good for me anymore because I don't need to keep accumulating makeup. I don't need to have, you know, even if it's like, um, like Sephora Play or Birchbox where you may only get one or two makeup items a month, that's still a lot of makeup. Or, you know, sometimes it's like a nail polish or something. And it's just too much for me at this time. And I think that's something people think, need to think about because they, it's a great deal, yes. And it's you're definitely going to get more um, product than the price. So I definitely understand why people are attracted to it. And I'm not saying nobody should ever have a subscription box. But I think that people just kind of ignore the fact that they're gonna get some repetitive items. Like, I got so many like brown eyeshadows, and how long did it take to go through an eyeshadow? A heck of a long time. So, you know, you're gonna end up with a lot of stuff. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you're trying to not have very much, I don't know that that's the best idea for you. Also, um, it was really good when I first started makeup because I didn't know what I liked. You know what I mean? I was still trying to determine what were my favorite things? What were things that I really enjoyed having? What were things that I didn't like so much? So it was great then. Now, I pretty much know. No, not every time. I'm definitely trying things and I'm surprised by them. But in general, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So if I got, uh, again, for example, a black eyeliner, I, number one, I've got plenty. Number two, I don't love black eyeliner. I would much rather have a colorful liner down there. Because um, I really only use it in my waterline, my top lash line, I always use a powder. Same with my bottom. I only use it like in my lower waterline, so I'm not going to go through it very quickly. And I don't necessarily like a black. Occasionally I like a black. I might like having one black liner in my collection, but I don't need to have seven. And because I use it so sparingly, I won't go through it. So, you know, at, at a certain point, I feel like you just learn what you like. And so you're really going to save money by not having subscription boxes because instead of getting five items, two of which you might really like, you can not get anything and instead just put that money towards something that you know you're gonna like, if that makes sense. I don't know, I loved subscription boxes for a long time. I think it's kind of fun because it's like a surprise, but I just feel like the once you learn your makeup preferences, I guess, you don't necessarily need them. And I definitely know my preferences. I have a lot of makeup. Um, and I just feel like they're not for me anymore. And I, I think that they're great in some respects. But I think that a lot of people may not think long term about it. Now that's okay. You can have a subscription box. Unless you like prepay, pretty much all of them that I can think of, you can you know quit at any time. So if you, want, if you decide, okay, I had enough, I want to quit, that's fine. You can do that. But I just think that they're just kind of, I don't know. For me, they had their time in my life, and I really liked them. 
but now I just don't want them. I don't want to get items every month that I may or may not like. I don't want to keep adding and adding to my collection because I have so much at this point that I need to start using things up. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. That's why I project pan. I've been project painting for quite a while. And that's why. It's so that I can really think, okay, what do you have? How long is that going to take you to use up? You know, I, I mention this all the time. And maybe I'm doing, I mean, not maybe, I know I'm going slower than some people. I'm painting a palette this year. I started January 15th. Today is October 24th. Yes. So that's like what? over nine months of panning. Here we go. Haven't even used up a single shade. Now, I don't double duty these shadows, which I know a lot of people do. I don't because, yeah, I could use one of these shadows as a highlighter, but then my 27 highlighters would be totally ignored. You see what I'm saying? Um, so that's just what, that's like my personal preference. But I know how long it takes me to use up makeup, and it's a long dang time. I've used this blush pretty much exclusively for a year. This one. Do you notice how there's not even pan on it? And it's a three gram blush. So, you know, I just think that, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's attractive, but also you just need to think about what you really want. Now, if you're one of those people, and I definitely was for a while, so I'm not like saying that in a bad way, that's like, I just wanna try everything. I just wanna keep getting stuff and getting stuff and getting stuff, cool. Subscription boxes will be great for you. However, I will say that there is some repetition for sure. Like I've definitely noticed that something will come out in like an Ipsy and then like a month or two later it'll come out in a boxy charm. It might have um or you know, and then maybe even in a birch box. So maybe if you like cause I definitely had like at one point I had four subscription boxes. So that's another thing, you know, maybe pick out the one that you feel like is best for you. And you can do that because there's a lot of unboxing videos every single month. So you can watch a couple. Um, a lot of times on their website, they'll even show you past boxes. I know Sephora Play does that and BoxyCharm does that. Um, so you can kind of see, okay, this is what I get. Do I really want that? Is that good for me or is it not? Um, so yeah, I'm not trying to like bash subscription boxes by any means. But for me, they're just not what I need anymore. And I think that... A lot of people probably fit into that category, but they feel like they should have subscription boxes. So just really think about it, you know? I'm, I wanna be a lot more mindful about what I spend money on in, in everything in my life. Um, and, you know, I just feel like subscription boxes aren't for me. So you will not be seeing them anymore, unless of course, like last year my brother got me a, um, like a subscription, like a three month subscription to Birchbox. I don't think that's gonna happen again, but if somebody were to do something like that, then maybe I would. But in general, I just, you know, I don't need it. I don't need it, and even though I might, like, if you can't stop, I would rather be able to choose items that I want, and maybe even spend a little bit more money, than get a bunch of items that I may or may not use, or have need for. So that's just my opinion about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, go ahead and leave those down below, and I'll just see you real soon. Bye.